Day five, and we're just heading off on our uh, journey home now. It's five past nine. It's Sunday morning, and we've got uh, about eight hours ahead of us. Eight nine hours riding ahead of us. So it's been a uh, been a brilliant five days really enjoyable. We sorted Rob's um, no lights, no instruments problem out, 15 amp fuse had blown for some reason. We've changed that and he's working now so he's back up and running properly. Um, so yeah, just settling in for the journey home now. I'm going to miss this place, really enjoyed it, loved every minute of being up here with these fellas. So it's one of those, it's going to be a sad that it's coming to an end, as is the same every year really, or every trip, it's sad that they come to an end. But next year's the plan, I look forward to now, and uh, as I've said previously, some, some of the odd weekend ride out still to do for the rest of the year. So I think first port of call is Hexham, where we're going to fuel up, and then uh, sort of meander our way southwards. So I've just fueled up in Hexham, ready for the next leg of the journey. Castle upon time. She's a third to me. We're not staying here. We're just passing, probably just along the outside of it. <laughs> and I'm guessing this is the River Time. So we are going to look at the uh, Paul of Scott Metal after all. And there it is up in front, the Angel of the Door. And Paul did as good as his word and he's taken us to see a Paul of Scott Metal. The boyos are going to be so excited. the scrap metal <laughs> so it's uh, quarter past eleven and we're just rolling into Thirsk or I think we're having another short break I'm probably fueling up again so making good progress Another fuel stop. So 
are just fueled up and uh, had a refreshment from Tora breaking first. And now uh, we're back on the road and the next stop is Arlington, which is at about 80 miles I think. And, uh, currently 5 to 12, and we're doing well. Fuse has gone again on Rob's lights and instruments. Looks as though it might be uh, happening when he's putting it on to full steering lock. It's, uh, it's probably a loose connection or a short chafing of the wiring. So, but the fuse has gone again. Next stop will be Arlington. It's um, 20 to the half past one and we're about nine miles from work stop now. So still making progress, still staying together. Looks like a decent bit of open countryside at the moment. We've been A roads all the way back to avoid it. Uh, roads that we see cows. There's definitely no bad way. Well no. So I'm picking something. Oh she was having a piss in the bush. Oh well, we've just had another fuel up at Ollerton and um, we changed Rob's fuse and it popped again just before we were about to leave so uh, gonna have to live with it I think and then get it sorted when it gets out I think the only stop we're going to do now is just for the boys to um, get their stuff out of uh, Mark's van and then we'll probably be uh, all departing our separate ways home after that the time now is quarter past two Nottingham and Leicester, you know you're not far from here in the Midlands when you see those signs. Um, we've got Kev. Kev's behind the car behind. So it looks as though we're at, um, we've done about 1100, or we will have done about 1100 miles when we get back. That's not bad for five days. That's probably the uh, longest that we've uh, done on any of our ships to date. A lot of riding, so I'm stopping in two or three balls a day. Not stop over five days. We were a hundred more short on the plan. Um, day yesterday so uh, had we done that we would have probably been uh, looking at 1200 miles overall so I'll confirm the uh, exact mileage when we get up but I think it's going to be somewhere around 1100 miles it's this on the left here <coughs> oh dear rough and heavy so, uh, I think that's a bit of pollen Thank you, my sneeze. Right, it's a uh, quarter to three, and we're on the A38 southbound. Just passing the 
Alfreton. 838 south of Derby now, 3 o'clock. Everybody's uh, doing a bit a fair bit of stretching. Everybody getting tired now. So we're probably 40 miles left of the journey. So just reflecting back on the uh, last five days. Been a great journey up on Wednesday to the uh, Pheasant Inn. Really nice. Nice stops on the way. Just trying to remember the place we stopped there. Yeah, and the revisit to uh, the Castle Arms Inn. That's nice. Just to uh, new memories from being back up there a few years ago. And then the uh, Thursday, I don't think where we went there. That was it. Thursday we went up to uh, Sea Houses and Linda's Farm. Back through the glorious countryside. Friday, we went up to Highmouth, um, down to Berry Cut Tweed, back again through the uh, Gilda Forest, surrounding countryside, back to the digs. Yesterday, shorter or less miles yesterday and we went up to uh, Adrian's Wall and up there and then uh, again back across the countryside let's not forget we got wet on uh, Friday afternoon as well with all the rain so the pheasant in in Falster highly recommended um, not cheap but reasonable rate for what you get very nice uh, accommodation, spotlessly clean. Food was uh, excellent. So, three course meal, you're looking about £30 a head average for a three course meal. So, uh, secure as well, really nice place. Really nice place indeed. Well, there we are. Full circle, back where we started at 6 o'clock, four days, five days ago, on Wednesday morning. At the Asda and the Quesnit Road, a brown journey of about a thousand one hundred miles.